Tuesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Just gave uh, Lucy a bath. Um, I did one video on that. It was a fiasco. It's hard to, to film and, um, and give her a bath too. But she's all clean. But note to self, opossums don't care much for blow dryers. I tried to dry her with a blow dryer and she really just didn't like that at all. So I just towel dried her. But she's still kind of damp. But she uh, smells good. That mane and tail shampoo is just, man, it's just some good stuff. Maybe that little face. Her little head, her little head feels like a cotton ball. She, uh, I've noticed anybody else that has opossums too, maybe they can put some uh, input into this. But when she was younger, you know, I fed her, I would feed her, you know, six, seven, eight times a day, just little amounts. But now that she's bigger, <clears throat> I was feeding her twice a day. And here the last week or so, she really hasn't been eating as much as she was to begin with. So maybe her growth spurt's done and they just, I guess they just don't eat as much. I don't know. But I looked it up on the internet last night and it said that um, if you have one in captivity as a pet, you can feed them, I think it said four to six times a week. Or, or no, I'm sorry, every four to six days, I think it said. Um, but she eats every day. I gave her just a little bit of uh, uh, Caesar dog food this morning and about five mealworms, and she ate it all. But last night, the past few nights and mornings, I give her grapes and cantaloupe and apples and dog food and worms and everything, and she leaves over half of it on her plate. So. I know she must, she's obviously getting enough to eat because she's not eating at all. Um, and she's going to the bathroom. She pees and poops, you know, like she normally does. But um, she just, I don't know, maybe her appetite, maybe she's full grown now. She doesn't, maybe she doesn't need all that uh, food in her. But it, I offer it to her, she just, she just doesn't eat it. So there's not, I don't think there's not much I can do about that. She wants to crawl inside my shirt. She likes <laughs> she likes to snuggle in my shirt. But she's still a little wet. And I found too that uh, anybody else that has these little little critters for pets, um, I was getting her wet with uh, with a spray nozzle <clears throat> and then putting the shampoo on her and uh, scrubbing it in. That didn't really work out real well. She she really doesn't like to to be sprayed, so I've been putting the the mane and tail shampoo in the water and making it sudsy, you know, putting, you know, probably four or five inches of water in there and uh, put her in there and just splash her around and then scrub her up with that and it lathers up really good, that mane and tail shampoo lathers up really good. But, uh, and then I rinse her, I have to rinse her with the nozzle to get all the soap out of her, but she seems to, she seems to be going along with that really well. She's, she's a little cuddle bug. Like I said, this is her, this is her sleepy time now during the day here. So she, she's looking for some place to <clears throat> rest her little head. But as you can see, I mean, she doesn't, she's not aggressive at all. I mean, I don't think any of them that you raise from babies are aggressive. Maybe the males are a little more aggressive. I had one guy say that he had males and they were a little more aggressive than the females, but they were, you know, they never bit him. But she's uh, she's an explorer, man. These, these critters, I've never had anything like this. And I know people, like I said, my, sis, my sister had raised raccoons and stuff too. And you know, they play and they come up and they bite on you. And, want to wrestle around and roll around on the ground, but these guys don't do that. They're just, they're really docile little creatures and uh, they're explorers. And they, they say they're, they usually stick to themselves. You know, they don't run in packs unless they're raised with, you know, other young ones. 
then they all they'll hang together. But for the most top, most part, they're uh, solitude little creatures. And she's just sitting here now, sitting in my shirt. Come on out of there, girl. I put a fresh towel in her nesting box, a big bath towel, nice fluffy one. <coughs> so she'll curl up in that here shortly and take a little nap for the day, I guess. With these tails, look at that tail. I mean, these, these tails are amazing. I watched her one day, she, she can gather uh, grass and stuff up with her tail and then she'll bring it back to her nesting box and uh, she makes a nest out of it. But she likes them bath towels too because she can she can curl right up inside of there and she's a, you put your hand in there in the morning to get her up or something and and uh, it's 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 really really warm in there so she's she's plenty plenty warm enough. It got down about 40 degrees last night, um, but I I kept her in the house anyway. Had her in the garage actually um, in her little nesting box, but uh, now it's raining today so. It's, it's not going to be much yard time today for us. Put her in the shop the other day and she she got into some mischief in there, but she's uh, she's an explorer. But anyway, there's there's my little Lucy. She had her Valentine's Day bath. She's all clean and ready for a new day. You guys like my videos please subscribe i'll share another one with you later have a good day